Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is New Perspectives Excel 2019 modules by 2A STEM Critical Thinking Capstone Project 1C. New site consulting analyze data with tables and what if tools. Here, first of all, we need to download this Excel start file which I have already downloaded here. Now let's move on to our project steps. So the first step is Benicio Cortes is a financial consultant with New Site Consulting in Denver, Colorado. He is working with Dick Technology. DIG technology company that sells five models of portable speakers to customer consumers in North America. In an Excel workbook, Benicio is analyzing the performance of each speaker model and project, projecting sales for a new product. He asks for your help in completing the analysis. Go to the US worksheet. Benicio has received annual sales worksheet from the main offices in the three countries where DIG technology sales products, the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The worksheet for countries have a similar structure. Complete the worksheets by using a function to total the mini sales amount for quarter one through quarter four. In the US, Canada, Mexico worksheet, fill the formula down to display the okay. Okay, so first of all, we need to group these worksheets, US, Canada, and Mexico. So press, uh, select the US worksheet, press shift button, and then select a Mexico worksheet. Now we will calculate the total sales for uh, both of these, uh, uh, sorry, all of these three types of whatever. Uh, yeah, so first of all is equal some bracket, and then take values from quarter one to quarter four and then enter now fill the formula with the formula this way yeah and then you can see that all three worksheets have calculated the total sales for these types now go to the all locations worksheet where Benicio wants to summarize the quarterly and annual total sales from these three locations for each type of product, consolidate the sales data from the three locations. Use a function to total the mini sales value in quarter one from the US, Canada, and Mexico worksheet. Use the same formula to consolidate the and fill the remaining products totals in the table through quarter four. Okay. Um, here, first of all, we will ungroup this these worksheets. So now we will go to the all locations worksheet. To total the mini sales value in quarter one from the US Canada. Okay, so here this one is the quarter one is equal sum bracket. First of all, go to the US worksheet. Uh, here select cell B5, then press the shift button and then go to the Mexico worksheet and then bracket close. So here it is. Now we will fill the data for quarter one, two, three, four by using the uh, fill button. Now we will select these cells. And then we will fill the uh, sales for uh, voice activated and waterproof uh, category. Okay. Now, when is you started to define names for cells and ranges in the all locations worksheet to make it easy to identify the total sales for each product, he wants you to add a defined name for the waterproof sales amount and then find the total annual sales for each product. Create a defined name for the waterproof sales amount from the quarter one to through quarter four using waterproof total as the name. So first of all, select these cells for quarter one to quarter four. Uh, then go to the formula step. Then define name and then name waterproof underscore total and click OK. Use a function to display the total of the sales amounts in the mini total range in the total column. Use the same function to total the voice activated total range and the waterproof total range in the appropriate cells. Okay, so here is equal sum bracket. First of all, waterproof range, waterproof total range. Then for mini range. And then for 
voice activated total range so here it is then when if you when if you want to compare the sales of each product in 2021 with the sales in 2020 he has the 2020 sales data stored in a separate workbook add the 2020 sales data to the all locations worksheet use a reference to pull in the total sales of the mini products in 2020 from the support underscore ex19 underscore ct underscore cs528c underscore 2020 dot xlsx workbook make sure the formula always references the same column but not the same row and then fill the rest of the 2020 dot totals with the formula but not the formatting so first of all we will open this file support underscore ex19 underscore 528c then here in this 2020 total column is equal and then go to the supporting file and select cell f5 then enter now we need to make it an mixed reference not a absolute reference so delete the dollar sign before the row 5 and here it is now drag the fill button here and you will get the values mm -mm. yeah so here it is now we will close this file in the appropriate cell use a function to look up the total sales for quarter 1 to extract the performance ratings from the table showing the revenue amounts and ratings the formula should always use the exact range and find an approximate match use the formula to display the performance rating for the rest of the quarters Okay, so basically this is not a whole tutorial video. This is just a preview. There are total twenty three instructions from which I have already explained you four instructions. Now for the rest of the assignment, you need to contact me on my WhatsApp or email, whichever you want. My all contact details are provided in the description box to contact me and get any type of assignment help from there. In case any doubt, you can ask me to comment box. So thank you, thank you for watching my video.